Well, I think that my obsession for green is not exactly an obsession for green itself, it's an obsession for trees. I consider trees uh, individuals with uh, uh, their own uh, evolution trajectory, their own sensitiveness and their own intelligence. So it's so important nowadays because if you consider that basically the 70-75% of the CO2 that we host in our atmosphere is produced by cities. Uh, and forests and uh, woodlands are absorbing the 40% of that CO2. So the more we are conditioned to introduce green surfaces, horizontal and vertical surfaces, in our urban mineral environment, the more we can really deal with climate change in a very efficient way. And then also transmits, I think, uh, a condition of uh, happiness and calm and comfort. So I think that all these advantages together makes the issue of urban forestry so contemporary and so crucial also for the next years. We had the idea that was necessary in that specific part of the New Zealand district. Uh, we need, we need uh, to a little bit emphasize the uh, openness of one block. So we decided to propose a L-shaped building. And then the second concept was about the introduction of living nature, but in that case was not on the facade, but was on the roofs. On the roof, because the, the, the L-shaped building has three main, uh, let's say, collective green surfaces at the seventh floor, at the sixth floor, at the third floor. Every apartment has a double facade open to the light on the two sides. And uh, a lot of these apartments have direct connection with the green environment. All have a possible uh, access to a uh, green surface and all are facing the courtyard, which is a public space, but at the same time quite uh, intimate. I really think that what we have done is respecting the wish of people that will love to stay in a, inside the city, a dense, strong, contemporary city, but not abandoning a relation with nature.